My uncle Shabazz was the youngest of his siblings and definitely the family favorite. Memories of my childhood are flooded with images of my uncle Shabazz. He was full of life, had a great sense of humor, was extremely caring, and he loved his family beyond words. He ensured that my brother and I, who lived abroad in Canada, visited Pakistan at least every two years so we would know and value our extended family members. Not only that, he wanted us to know and love Pakistan as much as he did. Often on our trips to Pakistan, he would make sure to bring us to museums, national monuments, and historic sites, all while explaining the importance of, and significance of each one. Without a doubt, he had a deep love and passion for his country, and he wanted to make sure that the future generations of his family did too. It's not easy for religious minorities to grow up in a country that constantly shuns them and makes them feel like second-class citizens. Growing up, my uncle had his fair share of struggles as a religious minority. He had every reason to despise his country and had every opportunity to leave and be successful abroad. Yet, the love that he had for his country never wavered, despite the hardships that the country threw at him. He believed in the Pakistan that was created by its founding father, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, a Pakistan that was free for all to worship as they pleased, a Pakistan that was home to every religious minority. My uncle knew very well the sacrifices his forefathers made for his nation, and he knew that he too needed to fight for equality, peace, and harmony like those that went before him. From the time we spent in Pakistan as kids, we never truly understood all that my uncle Shabazz was going through. We didn't understand that when he came home from a long day of work, he was actually visiting people under false allegations in prison, or that he was just visiting people whose entire villages were burned to the ground. We didn't know that he was in parliament fighting for a 5% quota for religious minorities to bring them into positions of power, or that he was able to achieve the first ever minority seats in Senate and create a 24-hour minorities helpline. As kids, it was hard to look past his charm and joyful nature and see the pain and heartache he was constantly facing. Today, as we look back at all that Shabazz Bhatti fought for and gave his life up for, we should be encouraged to do the same. Religious freedom is a fundamental, God-given right that should be fought for and should be protected. Shabazz Bhatti stood up for the voiceless in a country with some of the most ruthless laws towards religious minorities in the world. In the face of fear, he was completely fearless. His commitment towards God and the love for his community caused him to be fierce and relentless regardless of the circumstances that he faced. In some of the most challenging situations, he achieved the greatest outcomes for the religious minorities of Pakistan. My uncle spent many nights with my brother and I, talking to us about the importance of our faith and fighting to protect it. He told us never to forget Pakistan because our forefathers have died for this land. Those late night talks have cultivated a deep love, passion and commitment towards Pakistan in my heart that remains today and will remain forever. His absence in our lives can never be replaced, but we can all keep his legacy alive by continuing the work that he left behind for all of us. Today, as we gather to celebrate his life, I know that my uncle did not die in vain. His legacy continues to inspire people to bring his mission forward. He continues to inspire people to stand up for the truth and fight injustices. Many have pledged to continue fighting for the cause that Shabazz Bhatti has sacrificed his whole life for. And because of this, I am hopeful that the work that he left behind will continue to be fulfilled and we will achieve a better future for all the generations to come.